Oh, honey, we is looking good today. We is looking good today. And I didn't even mean to match my shirt with this eyeshadow look, but girl, we is looking bomb. Hey, you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Or if you're new, hey, girl, hey. So today I'm super excited because I got in the Milani X Juicy Jazz Holiday Kit Collection. And today I'm going to be reviewing these for you guys. And I'm going to be recreating her look that she did. She called it her Easy Sunset Eyes. So let's go ahead and get started unboxing these. So first I'm going to start off with the Golden Glam one. The packaging is super cute. Each of these come with an eyeshadow palette, a lip crayon, and a creamy highlighter duo. Looks like this. Super pretty packaging. There's six shades in here. There's like three shimmery ones and then three matte ones. The shadows in this are super cute. They're super neutral, super cute palette. This is called We Did Something. And then the highlighter duo is in 140 double shot highlighter duo cream and powder. Also very pretty. These are like super neutral and like brown shades. Lastly, it comes with the Ludacris Matte Lip Crayon. This is in the shade Post Game. I personally don't wear shades like this, but it's very pretty for the holiday season. I picked these up from walmart.com, but I know they were also available on Milani's website. These were $14.97 each off of Walmart, and the shipping was free, which is why I waited to get these from Walmart instead of Milani. So this next one is the Rising Star Kit. Looks like this when you open it. It comes with this like super like cranberry vibes eyeshadow palette. This one is called like a dream. And this one also comes with three matte shades and like three shimmers. Very pretty. I love the pinks in here. It comes with the 130 spark plug highlighter duo cream and powder. This is a little bit more like my speed shade wise. These are like very light golden shades, super cute. These look like they're gonna be like super pigmented. I can't wait to try them out. This one also comes with a ludicrous matte lip crayon and this one is in the shade Can't Even. I don't know if you guys have seen her video or not, but she did a video where she did a tutorial on easy sunset eyes using both the eyeshadow palettes. So today I'm going to be trying to recreate that. I have her video playing right here on my iPad. So first she starts out with the We Did Something palette. First we're going to go in with this shade right here all over the crease. I want to show you guys me dipping into the palette. So yeah, it has a lot of fallout which doesn't bother me. Make sure you tap that off right before, before you apply it or else it's going to get all over your face. And I already did my complexion before I started this video but I didn't do any bronzer or highlight because I want to try these out for you guys on camera. Okay, I brought you guys in closer so that you can see. We're going to start off with that shade and these, I don't think these have shade names. So I'll put that all over the crease just like she did. Up next, we're going to go in with this shade right here. It's a little bit deeper than the first one we used. And we're just going to go right over top of that all over the crease. We're using this shade to kind of add more dimension to the crease because this shade is a little bit more dark and it has a red undertone to it. So next we're going to go in with this gold shimmery shade. We're going to bring that about halfway through the lid. It's super shiny and it almost looks like glitter, which I love. Next we're going to go in with like a dream palette and we're going to use this corner shade right here. This looks like a pink, very shimmery shade. She applied that with her finger like this. We're gonna place that like in the middle over top of that golden shade. There is a lot of fallout on my face. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a lot of glitter on my face. So now I know next time, don't do my whole makeup first. Same thing on the other side. This is looking very pretty so far. She goes in with this cranberry shade right in here. We're gonna take this brush right here for it and we're gonna like stamp that onto the outer corner of the eyelids slightly brush that in towards the middle so far hers looks a lot better that's all i'm gonna say now we're just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just go over all of that just to fluff out any rough edges overall it's very pretty i'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes and i'll be back to show you guys the highlights for the lower lashes we're gonna go back into like a dream palette and use this shade right here we're gonna apply that right underneath the waterline so up next i'm gonna do something a little bit weird but i'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer the maybelline city bronzer 
and I'm actually with that going to mix in one of these shades in here to make it like a shimmery bronzer. When she was introducing the holiday kits, she recommended people do this, so I'm trying it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into my bronzer, and then I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, just cause it's a little bit lighter in pigment. So far, I think it's applying very pretty on the skin. It does give off like a slight glow, nothing crazy, so I love that for a bronzer. I definitely do see myself using this technique just because this is my favorite bronzer and it's the shade that I love so much. This is a very good way to make that into a more glowy bronzer. I'll mix those up and bronze my entire face with it. It's very creamy, so I really like that. Up next, I'm going to go in with the lighter highlighter duo. I'm going to start off with this one right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, I love that. It's super, super shiny. I'm gonna try the other one on the other side. The other one's like a more like rose gold, I think. That side is like a little bit more of a golden shade. It's so pretty though, very blinding. Both of these are super beautiful on the skin and they blend out super smooth. Up next, I was so excited for these. I'm gonna fill my whole entire lips with this and see what happens. I don't think that I have ever used a lip crayon that applied so smoothly and so beautifully onto my lips and not to mention this shade is perfect. It is so beautiful. These are matte but they're super comfortable and they're very creamy on the lips. And I'm going to go over that with this butter gloss from NYX that I have really been loving. This is the shade Bit of Honey. I'm going to apply this over top of that. They're kind of close to being the same shade. I am completely in love with the whole entire collection. Everything is super beautiful and I love the colors and the shades of everything. They give off like super holiday vibes. I would definitely recommend buying these for yourself if you love makeup or you can buy these for a gift for somebody for Christmas. I definitely love both of them. They're super beautiful. It just depends what shades you're more into. Like the real pink like purpley ones or like the brown neutrals. I felt forced to buy both but that's because I love both and I love Juicy Jazz. She's been my favorite YouTuber for a very long time now. And I also love Milani, so I was like, I need to make this video happen. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video or enjoy videos like this, please leave a like, comment, and a subscription. And I will see you all in my next one.